Well, it's a great pleasure to be here with the 2009 Premiership coach and a great mate of game face, Tony Blackford, and his good mate who just have it looks but the cat's dragged in. He just happened to be in the area and he popped hey, in. Uh, five time day night, Dermot Brewer and Derm, great to uh, see you down here. Uh, what about me, Dan? And Introduce you too, Blake. Oh, I've got Introduce a Blake. Uh, yeah, t- Tony Blake, but he's a legend yeah. down here, but you're a legend everywhere, Dermot. Uh, you're a legend at this footy club. How many games you play here? Oh, about two. No, no, no. <laughs> I think much more than that. I think I played six. Six? <laughs> no, I've been a lifelong uh, supporter of the Franks and Bombers. I mean, Franks and Rovers, who I played all my junior footy with, is a leader, a feeder club to the Franks and Bombers, along with the old Cannonhook team. Uh, so my brothers played here. Uh, so yeah, I've had a lifelong association in one way, shape or form with the Frankston Bombers, yeah. He had a wonderful junior coach and a fellow called Bob Francis. Yeah, he did you? too, Bobby. He's still with us, Bobby. He's a legendary old yeah. coach, yeah. He lives out of Sky now, I think. He taught, he taught you everything you knew, Dermot? Pretty well. Yeah, he was a very good coach. Very ethical, very moral as well, which was a bit lost on me. Yeah, uh, just, <laughs> just a little bit, just a little bit. Can I ask you, before I talk to Blackers, in I think your second game, you got knocked out. Did you always know every time you're going to come out and play in this league that you're going to be a target? And how did you cope with that? No, no, no. I did, I did get knocked out. A bloke uh, ran through with the flight of the ball and I saw him coming to me. And you were going gonna... down, Derm? Like yeah, yeah mark I took a mark on the lead. Oh. And I thought he's going to keep running. And it was just unfathomable that he'd jump and put his uh, throw an elbow into the cheekbone. I, was, I actually let him make contact. So, did you? Yeah, the boy's a moron. Uh, and he's uh, not wasn't quite with us and he's not with us anymore he's, his life is oh i'm sorry has, to hear that has passed away i i wouldn't i don't really i'm ambivalent to the fact that he's not here with us he's a pretty ordinary character and uh took a few along the way with him which is unfortunate alan donaldson another legendary drama hello just, mate we're just, doing it Look at that, we're on. We're just doing a we're, we're we're doing live, an live television. <laughs> Ellen Dan Lonigan, very nice yeah, to meet you. I didn't realise one game was <laughs> One game. We're so just having a chat. He even cut me short. One game. One game. Couldn't help himself, and he's got it 100. No, he's got it 600% out. How do you guys know each other? Uh, through life. the Frankston Rovers yeah. right. and through Heather Hill Cricket Club. and, and when Frankston I was, Heights Primary School. Frankston Heights, yeah. yeah. So... Um, Dermot was always four years in front of me, mm-hmm. um, but as a young bloke growing up, I was involved with Heather Hill Cricket Club and, and Dermot and I and um, another fellow, Jimmy Horn, all become great mates. You're, you're still at Heather Hill, aren't you? Are you yes. still playing that? Current premiership. Co- co- correct. That, Dan. Back yes. to back too, Dan. Yeah, My, I heard that. Uh, <laughs> what are you, a basketball bowler? Uh, I was a bowler as a kid. Uh, as but the body's no good now? I can't even run up. <laughs> I can't run up. I have old bowlers say, so I just bowl off two steps now. I haven't got two steps in me. No, no fair enough. Bat, um, and uh, have a hit and a giggle, but uh, enjoy mentoring the younger guys we get in our team and then the older blokes. Uh, they just look after themselves and we thoroughly enjoy it and we somehow keep winning. It was an interesting, Dan, it was an interesting grand final. German's team made around 96, I think. They'd 100, 101, 100, I think. Yeah. And they had the other opposition 3-4 overnight. And we just felt if they could get a couple of early wickets, um, they'll be right in the game. And they ended up getting them out for We uh, got 55. 7 for 16. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. Wow. Mark Fisher, who played at Frankston Bombers, oh, yeah. he's our... Uh, He's one of those old bowlers. He comes off about four steps and still shoots and crew pretty well. He's a little bit, a little bit sharp and a little bit good for our competition. He's a bit, he's a bit like that guy Boomer from India. He comes off about a five metre run and then uh, it's it, it's all in the arm action in the end where he gets all his pace. Yeah, he bowls like at about 150. A, yeah, he's a little bit elastic, isn't he, he is. Boomer? He uh, sort of comes in and it unwinds from there, but. But no, Mark, he, he's too good for our comp, but we won't let him know that because we want him to keep playing. Absolutely. Now, you've both played in a lot of premierships. You've been involved in a lot of premiership reunions. What does a premiership reunion mean to you, Blackers? Oh, it just means, like, I had the boys at my house last night and I was just it's telling them... It's an early night too, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not sure that they're all out by 10.30, Oh, Dan. he's a wuss. Anyway, Rubbish but stuff. what it does, it means that you live, <laughs> live forever, Dan, in the history of the club. Yeah. Um, when you pass away, you'll always be re- recognised as a Premiership player or a Premiership coach. Well, you played in five at Hawthorne, and you would have uh, no doubt been involved in reunions with a lot of guys because there were a lot that played in five with you. Is there one Premiership that stands out among the five? Oh, was the best did. one? I mean, I love beating Essendon all the time. Of course you do. The hard, the hard slog of '89 
was a, a memorable the, one. Yeah, for you. that sets it aside from the others. I mean, call me biased or whatever. I think that's the greatest grand final that I, I've participated in. I think it's pretty close to the greatest one that's been captured on a film. I think so. But what, what we do with, like as I said, with playing with Heather Hill Cricket Club, playing with Franks and Bombers, it, it really does mean something when you walk in there and you look up on these these boards. And you see names up there, and some of the old blokes, I'll do it around here, he'll do it here in Bombers and say, who was Kurtz? Who was Deitch? Who was Schultz? I'm reading it over his yeah, shoulder yeah, there. Yeah. And the, who were these guys? And their name is there forever. I, Correct. Do I know them? No, not really. Um, but their names on the wall of a, 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 an institution forever and a day. And if you play in a premiership in any grade, your name is indelibly written up on the walls of the annals of that sporting club. We're just chatting and you live, before. And you live yeah. forever. Yeah. Well, you absolutely. had a 17-year-old play. Was it a risky decision to pick him, or he was uh, in the team weeks no, out, no, no, Jake no, no, Batchelor? No. He, he played, started at Stingrays, yep. and then he got left out of the Stingrays, so automatically he came back into play senior football. Um, and he, he worked his way through the game, and in the last quarter, Jake was outstanding for us. Yeah. He you always thought, Jake, Jake Batchelor. Batchelor. Jackie Batchelor. You always thought he'd go on and play league footy, play about uh, 80 games. Yeah, I'm not... Solid player. Yeah, so then then the next week, one of the players, um, Tom Scully, did his calf at Stingrays. Yes. So Jake then played in the, the Stingrays Grand Final, so he played in two Grand Finals in, in two weeks. And then, uh, yeah, I think the next year he went on and played Stingrays, and then... Got drafted. Same year as uh, a year after Dusty Martin, of course. Yeah. Well, gentlemen, great to catch up. Enjoy the day. Now, Dermot, we know the Bombers wear uh, yes, and red color. and black. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Hated it. Hated it. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to disassociate myself with it. And just... You really do hate them, don't you? Yeah. With a passion. Um, no. I, I, but as I, a young boy growing up, sorry to interrupt, you always wore the Hawthorne colours. Yeah. And, yeah. and, yeah. and Franks and Rovers. Rovers. Yeah, they were. Mornington Peninsula, when we were in Repsides, they wore Hawthorne. I was always right. in the Hawthorne. First time I wasn't in a Hawthorne jumper was when I played for Victoria down yeah. so <laughs> there. Right, yeah, of course. Um, but I could never week? say Bombers here without putting Frankston in front of us. I just the wanted the clarification. Is, it's not you're playing with, oh, going down to Morning Peninsula playing with Bombers. It was Frankston Bombers. Fair that, enough. You just have to disassociate yourself with Essendon. Hey, Derm, is that the the big game that you ran late in at the airport and you missed the plane that time? And Teddy made it a bit worse than it probably was for the cameras? <laughs> yes, but don't start eating into the sportsman's night <laughs> nah, routines. I won't I'll do have that. to charge you. No, no, no fair enough, Derm. You, you have to get back to town tonight for your... Yes, yeah, we'll be on till about midnight. Uh, it's good. Uh, you, yeah, you, Brad and Sarah, are a great team. Goes well. Well, you're the one who watches it. Oh, I love it. I reckon it's one of the great shows. We've got a viewership of about 14. Oh, no, I reckon, I reckon it's going a bit better than the footy show, which is no longer going. Anyway, that's, that's a story that. for another day. Thank you, Dermot. Thank you, Blackers. Enjoy the rest Thanks, of the day. Good on you, boys. My Thank pleasure. you. Good on you, Dermot. Hey, Good Tony. on you, Blackers. <laughs> Thanks, boys. Terrific stuff. Get your game face on.